Hello subscribers, here is the next Schleich figure review. This time it's the Schleich 2017 Conquering the Earth Velociraptor figure. Now people thought this figure, the Carnotaurus and the T-Rex were 2018 figures, but it turns out those are three unadvertised 2017 Schleich figures, part of the Conquering the Earth line. Now, in my opinions video, I said I wasn't going to get this figure, but as I saw more reviews of it, and like more in-hand images, I started to really like this figure, and there's something about it that makes it like my favorite um, uh, non-feathered Velociraptor. Like, I was, I'll explain to you. Well, well, I'll just tell you right now, because the for some reason the pose is like is uh, the pose is just uh, good to me. The paint job is good. Reminds you of those blue raspberry lemon ice creams. So this is basically a blue raspberry lemon Velociraptor. And see, of course, they give it a tiny patch of featherings on the back of the head, going down to, going down to the back. Then you see the tiny, the blue feathers on the on the legs and the arms. And it still has that Jurassic Park Velociraptor look. See the, the head sculpt right there it looks pretty impressive with colored blue, which looks very nice. Jaw does move, and it moves. Uh, wide enough and moves quite uh, smoothly. See, uh, there's no like red or pink paint right there, so it's kind of lazy. There is a decent amount of detailing in the top of the mouth up there, and it is kind of translucent, similar to some of Papu's dinosaurs, which I really like too. <clears throat> and the majority of deta detailing here is just scale detailing. So you got the hook claw. Then the the feet right here, the f in the in like the promo images, the feet did look quite like uh, big and thick. But as I got it in, um, as now that I have this figure, it doesn't look that bad now. I think this is probably Schleich's best uh, Velociraptor, but their best Dromaeosaur sword was probably that small Velociraptor from the box set, and second being their Utah Raptor, even though they're not 100% scientifically accurate. Like with that. That small Schleich feather Velociraptor. I, I didn't see why they couldn't do it with this one. At least give it a f like s like a somewhat full body of feathers and the tail fan right here. Then this figure would have gone eight. But I think this figure. I'll, I'll say my rating at the end of the video. <coughs> but I say this figure is close to an eight an eight out of ten rating. So I'll start with the comparisons right now. I'll show you like one more. A uh, turnaround of him, so you can see what he looks like. I forgot the arms are articulated, and so that makes it three points of articulation. Most like dinosaurs only have one, like zero to one points of articulation. See the tail is kind of curly, even though it'll be like like straight, stiff. So we'll start with the comparisons right now. Also, mine does seem to have balancing issues. It didn't come with any plastic or cardboard, um, cardboard packaging to like keep the legs from warping. So mine's kind of like leans back. Uh, mine's kind of like leans backwards, depending on like uh, where you put him. So let's start with the comparisons. <clears throat> now we have the Utah Raptor released in the same line, and this Utah Raptor is still a better figure in terms of paint job and sculpt and accuracy, even though it's not 100 percent accurate. Like they did it with oh damn it. yeah the balancing issues I was talking about. See if they did it with this one, I couldn't see why they couldn't do it with that one. So next up we have. The 2012 Velociraptor, I, uh, one of the earlier Velociraptor figures. Now, like, like this one, I like the 2017 more than this one because this one's just more based on Jurassic Park. It's all similar to the Papa one. It seems, in like in terms of paint job too, like Schleich seemed to did their own sculpt and their own paint job with this one. So, uh, good job Schleich for that. Like, I don't mind if my dinosaur figures aren't accurate because I like retro and movie style dinosaurs too. And let me get another Schleich Velociraptor. Let's get this one out of the way. Here you have Schleich's first Velociraptor figure, which isn't that all impressive. And of course, no comparison, the 2017 one wins again. And next up we have this, the 2015 uh, Velociraptor. And if you look clo closely at the head sculpts, this one seems to be like a remodel of this one. So this one improved with the pose and the paint job. 
So you have the boring paint job on here, and then the weird pose on this one. So yeah, she like did improve on the Velociraptor again. I think this one might be actually better than the Papa one. Like this one actually might, of course, like the pose and the sculpting may be. It's why my favorite feather is the Velociraptor figure. This one has an awkward pose and a boring paint job. This one I'm not too fond of the pose. Uh, so it's like this one too. So this I I really like this one. So yeah, most of you will say the Papa one is better, but I like the Shalike one better because of the posing too. And um, last, well, a few more comparisons. Here's these front limited feathered Velociraptor. Now this is a feathered Velociraptor Shalike. You hear that Shalike? This is a feathered Velociraptor. Maybe 2019 you'll probably uh, release this again, but with an accurate, um, an accurate feather covering. So yeah, this one's still my favorite Velociraptor. There's no comparison between the two. This one's the, the better figure. And a few more comparisons, the two Conquering the Earth figures, Allosaurus and um, Brachiosaurus. See, not in scale at all. They all go well with each other because they're all just like figures. And their paint jobs as well. So that's it for this review. I'd probably give this guy a 7.5 out of 10. Nothing too surprising, just another f um, featherless Velociraptor from Schleich. It's uh, impressive for what it is. So next up, I'll probably try to get my hands on that Carnotaurus. Some people said they're selling Schleich figures on Barnes & Noble again, so I'll try to go to Barnes & Noble to look for some uh, dinosaurs there. So if you like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review, or opinion video, because I have an opinion video ready on Safari Limited's 2018 dinos.